Hi everyone. My story starts many years ago when we as a choir from the church were invited to London to sing across a weekend in one of the London Elim churches. About 12 of us found ourselves being billeted out by a lovely Scottish couple. We found ourselves whizzing across London in a minibus and then finally drew up outside a block of flats. Couldn't help thinking that this chap must have had a fairly big flat to be able to put up 12 people. When eventually the lift doors opened, he said, come on, in you get. And he pushed all 12 of us into this tiny lift. With a creak and a groan, the lift just about managed to begin its upward journey, juddering all the way. Eventually, it came to a shuddering halt and nothing happened. Doors didn't open. Silence. Panic. On the wall next to me were two small notices. One read, maximum load, four persons. The second notice was above the head of the man who was our host which read clearly, in case of emergency, ring the caretaker of the building, and it gave a telephone number. Peering over the heads of all those uh, assorted bodies in front of me, I shouted to the man who had forced us all into the lift, I think you have to ring the caretaker. I am the caretaker, he said, and the key for the lift engine is in my pocket. As you can imagine, a lot of praying went on as we, like sardines, were crammed in our little lift with the caretaker who had the key in his pocket. As it turned out, this was one of two blocks of flats of which he was the caretaker of the one we were in and he had a colleague who was the caretaker of the adjoining block of flats and luckily he managed to raise the alarm with the other caretaker. Eventually we heard the faint pitter patter of footsteps climbing the stairs. Up and up and up they came, closer and closer and closer and eventually we heard the welcome sound of burly firemen leaving open the lift doors. The Lord had sent the fire brigade to save a dozen of his saints who had been trapped in a lift for over half an hour. And the point of the story, well, the Lord doesn't always use angels to rescue people from difficult situations. Sometimes he uses firemen. Bye.